I once made the mistake of buying a mechanical keyboard and trying to maintain a relationship with a woman. I noticed that the noises ruined our lives, so that had me on a search for something still nice but silent. The conundrums and rabbit holes that it led me down were unfathomable. That's a word, look it up. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Now I know I usually obsess about camera gear here like you couldn't use the brake. Be real with yourself. And keyboard is not very important to photographers, but people who edit our stuff like a nice keyboard most likely, and you would not believe the rabbit hole. So I had the DAS4 keyboard, professional MX blue chips. That was my mistake. They were the loudest ones, but the most satisfying with the click. And my girlfriend was like, those are kind of loud. Even with like earmuffs on trying to meditate, it's like, wow, those pierce right through my soul. So I was like, okay, uh, it was only $250. I, I'm sure I could find something else. So I put that up on the market. I got a new one, just a cheap one. Boy, did I not realize that having a volume wheel was the key to my life every day. I click on a YouTube video. Oh my God, it's so loud. No volume wheel. It's so easy. It makes life so good. You just quickly, boom, done. We're done. Now I'm like, oh, what a function plus F2 for down, F3 for up. Oh, and just keep clicking. The irritation started eating away at me. And so I was like, this isn't gonna work. Here's the keyboard that failed me. I'm sorry for the beautiful ASMR sounds you're about to witness. So I became obsessed with finding a good keyboard that was silent, but had a volume wheel. And that's where the rabbit holes started to veer off. A fox was chewing at my foot at one point. I realized that these super mini keyboards were kind of cool. I, I liked the idea of having hardly any clutter on my desk. And I was like, okay, what's the best one? Volume wheel, I found it. It's this little doozy. I forget what it's called, but there it is, for those with memory, like an elephant. So I get this thing, perfect volume wheel. I think it's 75 keys, something like that. It's like a mix between the best and the worst. It has a delete key, which some of them didn't. I was like, what do you even do? I figured the print screen button that I used to get the little Q and A's, that was gone, but I could remap it. Boy, did I not realize I could not remap it to anything without a control alt something. That sucked. So while I'm using this and twist them a little volume dial, I realize, hey, I use that about twice a day, max. What I use like 500 times a day is the number pad that is no longer here. You have no idea how often I use that. And I was like, oh wow, that really sucks for everything from entering my reps for workouts, for calculating things, for expenses, for income, like everything. I use that so often and I was like, wow, this is terrible. My whole life, like all day long, I'm now frustrated. Traded that in for a twisty knob that I do twice a day, max. I was like, wow, that was a bad trade-off. This was expensive too. So this first replacement was just like a membrane keyboard. It wasn't mechanical. Fine, I will now display to you what a mechanical red switch is like. Very satisfying to click, but still kind of loud.
you have no idea how long I put in the hours researching to get that one and not knowing how like just frustrating not having a full keyboard is and like my muscle memory things were different in places just even editing videos I was like oh the delete button's there oh man none of my stuff is anywhere so annoying so I was like I gotta research more and that's when I stumbled upon the Black Widow it's by Razor the V free and I think we have it now. We've got a full-sized keyboard. Nothing is missing. Volume wheel, it is there. And silent yellow switches. Gator switches or something. And they're pretty silent, kind of, as I will display to you now in an ASMR-like fashion. The only thing I hate about it is like, you can hardly see the keys, the numbers, the letters, everything. It's like black keys with a dark gray lettering. And I'm like, thank you for that. So I actually have to have the backlight on. That's so, I hate those backlights. So I, you have to run the Razer software. So that's constantly eating up my memory, like Pac-Man. And then I have it dimmed down so it's barely on, but I can at least see things. I hate it. So if you are researching keyboards right now, take heed my warnings. A volume wheel? Fantastic. Try to get one at all costs. Not at all costs, though. Don't cheap out on a mini one. Those suck. How do you guys use laptops that don't have a number pad? You're freaks. All the MacBooks. Oh, we saved so much space. It's so nice looking. Oh, where's the... Oh, math. No, thank you. Mechanical. If you're looking into mechanical, don't get the loudest one. You're going to regret it at some point. Your neighbors, your cat, somebody's going to be mad at you. Even yourself. You're gonna, what's on me? A hair. Oh, it's, I feel it. I can't see it. No finger click is more satisfying than painful sounds here. It's a quote. So I'm somewhat happy with my decision. There will be affiliate links for all three of these failures. And thank you for clicking on them. ASMR. Subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on this show.